kind of yeah. a little bit similar to Illinois game. Yeah, no question. They, they got they got off to a really good start, um, making some plays. We had some breakdowns, had some turnovers, and uh, you know, they're, they're a tough team for us to match up to. They have so much skill, and uh, the way they move the ball and they're unselfish. Today was kind of uncharacteristic for them to have. Um, you know, 12 turnovers. Gasell had five. That's uncharacteristic of him. Um, so. We, uh, we got to do a better job of starting the second half. I thought we should have been in a better position in the first half. And I thought we were did some really good things, and then we were very counterproductive in some things to finish the half. I we should have been up six, eight points. And we won. Utah really impacted the matchup at the start of the second yes. half. Did you consider going with Ray on Utah in the first half? Yeah, we considered it. We, you know, Jack has been so good. We like to put Ray on both of them. Both of them. Um, but obviously, we're going to put him on one of them. So, you know, no matter who guarded Utah, I thought. You know, he, he had the upper hand on him. So he's a tough cover. You know, he's, he's put them at another level. And Jack's improvements put them at another level. And obviously they have experience and they have older guys. You mentioned the end of the half there. I think it was the last three minutes you went without a point. Would you say in retrospect then that that was kind of the turning point in this yeah. game? Yeah, just the combination of the end of the first half and the start of the second half. How that was the turning point of the game. Um, you know, we have, some, we have some tough matchups at times because of our size. Mm -hmm. And we got to be able to flip it on them. Both games, we were able to flip them on, especially in the second half. You know, we got to get the ball inside more. But when you turn the ball over 16 times, 17 times, you know, kill yourself. And uh, we, we simply beat ourselves when we don't take care of the ball. Their ability to make threes over your big guys, I guess it's more like what you're saying, though. It wasn't, you guys weren't equalizing that at the other end. So right. what did you see as far as being not being able to get the ball in there? Was it what I was taking away, or was the effort not there? I just thought, you know, the, the number of possessions that you, you give away when you. You, know, you don't handle the ball versus the press. You know, you have um, we got called for a couple post up things in the first half. Just trying to get more possessions of it because they, they they get their threes in a variety of ways. Some off their action, some in transition, and then some just strictly off matchups. You know, Utah for just getting on matchups from bigger people. Then he takes his horse shots. When you look at what Woodbury can bring for Iowa, you've coached against him for four years now. Um, his his day, he seemed to match up. Better against AJ maybe than he had in the past. What did he right. do differently or better? Numbers, you know, and those guys help him. You know, he, he, he was solid. You know, he doesn't play the whole game mm -hmm. against them because they want to go small and expose our bigs um, from an offensive standpoint. But no, he's tough. Anytime you have a guy, um, you know, that can hold down that position, can defend the position, you know, get you a double double, mm -hmm. get your rebounds to go along with Jock and Utah, mm -hmm. and those two lead guards. You know, the two, they complement each other well. And they have a good team. Um, the thing I would say about Iowa, I know it's not a question, but um, a lot of people that have good teams, they, they, they don't want to get to the bench. They just don't. These guys don't have much of a drop off. And in fact, against teams like us, they actually improve sometimes when they, you know, they sub because we, we have a tough time, you know, with Yule. We have a tough time with Bear again. You know, Bear made that. I know, I know he only makes one shot, um, but, he, but he's solid. You know, he, he's a good role player. What do you need to get Ray going offensively? Well, not turn the ball over. Going on with him. You know, it's, it's, sometimes you got you got to be simple. You don't have to, you know, always be looking to make plays. You know, things aren't going your way. And, you know, you might not, at the end of the day, have a lot of positive things in a box score. You don't have negative ones. And uh, you know, you can't turn the ball over four times as a senior on the road. Uh, Swan again. It looked like he kind of tweaked his ankle in the first yeah. half. Is he fine? Yeah, he's okay. Okay. He's okay. He had, you know, he's had a couple games now. He's getting some real good opportunities. You know, we got to, you know, we got to flip it on those guys. He's got to be able to convert some of those, but he's getting some really good opportunities to score the ball, and uh, we just got to stay positive with him, and you know, hopefully he can you know get some things going and, and knock a few down. I don't think you've coached against an Iowa team that's been this proficient at shooting three pointers. Uh, what is that doing to you and other defenses? Well, they're proficient at shooting three pointers from people of size, and that, that brings us out when you have two seven footers. That's what really gives us a problem. You know, Yule's made a couple in both of our games. You know, Bear made one in each one of our games, and obviously Utah um, is, is going to make those threes. And so that just when, when they're patient and they shoot those in rhythm and they knock them down, that, that really hurts us. Uh, but they have a good team. They get the ball for really not having great post-up play. They get the ball at the rim still, and they still get to the free throw line, and that's key because I've, you know, even though it's not now, I've coached teams without post-up play. And if you're not getting layups and free throws, eventually, you know, perimeter shots don't always go down. And so Iowa does a good job of getting threes, but also getting drives and getting the ball to the rim. Um, and so they just have a well-balanced attack.
AJ and Isaac's productivity or lack thereof, was that on them? Or was that the way the game went? Was that everybody else not getting in the positions to, to do things? Or I think a little bit of everything in Iowa. I think Iowa's done a good job. You know, they, they didn't let Haas get going. Um, he's a big part of our team. And, uh, you know, he came in and it was a struggle for him. Um, he just didn't never get going. And then AJ really never, you know, get, got going either. So, you know, when you play, um, you know, inside like that, you got to be able to get that trust from your teammates. You know, they can't turn it over, you can't turn it over. And I wish it was just one or the other, but it's everybody. You know, we, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. I know in your statement you said um, you get Kendall all the time you need. Do you have any timetable on that right now? How long uh, that might? Uh, is there anything else?